All right, y'all. I'm back here in my 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 bedroom, <laughs> and I'm on my train layout right now. Welcome back to Trace Kill TV. We're going to try to add light lights to the buildings on this train layout, which I've already kind of done. So I basically just use battery powered LED Christmas lights, and that works good. And before you try this, do not try to wire it up to a a wall outlet because it's gonna blow your bulbs like I tried to use an old charger and like five volts and it still blew up somehow so I got new lights and they work but I have to wire them up again and I got I got lights on this side on that side over there but yeah let's get to it all right first I want to show you what I've already done yesterday I stuck lights in there I will turn off this light just so you can See my green elevator all glowing up in there. Little battery box here. Turn it off. Turn it glowing on, fading on and off. Then you can have it flash. Or you can just have it like that. These are not Legos, these are Christmas lights. I just stick them through the Technic holes. This is the only type of light that will fit into the hole correctly. You ever seen like the square headed ones? They don't fit, but this one does, and it'll stick in there pretty good. All right, take it out easy. And another thing I like about this is you can hook up this part to like a clip or something. Okay, this random old guy hold the light in his hand, and it sticks pretty good. I like these lights. Also had a set of these square top lights. Then you got the round lights. These do not fit inside a Technic pin. Well, you can't stick them all the way through, they just fall out. But with this one, it will go all the way in and stick in there. If you put it in far enough. So that's good. I bought these lights at Dollar General. Five bucks, man. Better operated LED lights with function 20 count. So what you're gonna need is some wire nuts, some lights, wire that you have laying around, smallest wire works the best like if you get an old charger that doesn't work anymore you can like take the wires out of it that's what's inside the charger it's this wire right here basically what I have here I have the wires going under the track under the paper they run they run through here all the way underneath the paper over there come out of a hole in the paper down there and then I just plug in the light bulbs to the picnic pins and then I have to get some Legos and hold the wiring up somehow but I ain't done that yet and then I run wires back underneath here over here through this hole and now I gotta attach these wires to up here right now oh geez I'm gonna strip the wires you can have different color wires if you want to just so you know which is hot and which is ground but it doesn't matter that much because LEDs are polarity sensitive and what that means is the that means the positive has to be on the positive wire and the ground has to be on the ground wire but if you get it mixed up it's no big deal because the only the worst thing that can happen is it doesn't work so if it doesn't work you know you messed up the polarities so all you got to do is switch it back around so i don't know which wire is which right now so i'm just gonna twist one to one wire and see what happens and then twist the other one there and go from there shut up ps4 twist it up grab a wire nut Twist her on up in there. And if you want to be serious about it, you could uh, solder it and hide all the wiring and stuff. But I don't really care about doing all that. Kind of bending the gas station here a little bit, but it's all right. Yeah, there it goes. That's okay. It's Legos. We can put it back together real quick. And then we do this one. Or better yet, we can see if we did it right. Yep, we got the polarity right. Flip the switch. And it comes on when you touch the wire. I wouldn't recommend doing that while it's while you're holding the wire though. You might like electrocute yourself, but I'm skilled, so I know what I'm doing. And there you have it. A gas station that lights up. You can see it's uh fading in and out. There. Let me flip it over so you can actually see the light bulbs in there. That's lit up. Elevator's lit up. Now we gotta do this line of buildings here. Well, we're just gonna grab the whole city block here and just what not take it over here so we can work on it. I think I'm just gonna put this this plate on this building while we're at it. Just so we get the height right. There we go. Now it's connected up. Got the height right. Just have the color wrong now. We want this wire to go that way because our power lines are gonna go across the road like that. I might need some more chargers. Alright, so we have one wire nut on there. Now we gotta put the other one on. 
Okay, so we got both of the wires on there. Now I'm going to strip the other side of this wire with my fingernail because the wire strippers don't really strip the tiny wires like that. All right, so we got these wires all set up. Now it's time for installation. <clears throat> oh, oh, now we're tangled up. We're tangled. All right, we got what we need here. Go ahead, wire this up. I got a little thingy right here. I just shove it in there and it stays. Then for the bottom floor, I got a little thing down here. We'll put that down there. All right, now we got the lights. Top floor and the bottom floor. Now I go next door to the bank. Hang on a sec. Always edit this and move that little blue piece back. All right, that's what we'll do. Yeah, we got that now. All right. Probably move it all the way. Or right there. Yeah. This box a little bit. Yeah, I'm about 18 years old now. Still on that Lego stuff. I'm not worried about this. This little gap right here. You're not gonna be able to see that anyways. Now we have all this lights left over. Yeah, well, I got the buildings out of the way. Might as well sweep the dust off of here. Get my little paintbrush. Get all get all dust loosened up here. Where'd my vacuum go? Now yeah, guys, let me show you the secret here to this wiring technique. I weave the wire underneath this thingy, which is those, like the display board that the fourth grade kids use for their science projects, but it's printed in green. So it's the same thing, it's just green. I'll take this. Put it back over there where it goes. Yep. I like to have more buildings back around here too, but I don't have money. Actually, we can just act like it's a parking lot. I had a gray base plate somewhere. We need more parking space back around here. You gotta get the little itty bitty wires from over here. String them across the road over here. Yeah, there. All right. Oh man, that hurts. Now I'm gonna turn this on and see if it's wired up right. Yeah, I don't think it is. And if my calculations are correct, this should work. Yeah, it works. Now we're gonna get a wire nut and not this one up. It's okay, I've done lots of wiring on my truck before. I know how wires work. Yeah, we got a little power line going on here. All right. <clears throat> now, we have this to wire. All right, so the last thing we're gonna do today, I'm gonna get this wire. Yeah, that's already stripped. We get Grab these and we strip these Ugh. with my fingernails. Pick a wire, any wire, twist it on there. I left these lights um, out because I'm planning on putting another building here. So for when I put building here, I'll have lights to put in the building. Uh-oh, I might need some more wire. Grab my handy dandy strippers. <clears throat> Strip the wire. Do it again till it, till it, till it cuts. All right, there we go. Okay, length wasn't quite right for me, so I just go ahead and stick it up here just for, just to have a light up here. Yeah. I just about have the whole town lit up here. Got the elevator and the gas station and the little buildings over there. Now we gotta plug in that side over there. And we just uh, grab this wire. And we tie it up, or at least touch it together. See which one's which. That is it. So let's tie these up with the wire nut inside here. Come on, man, I need this. Get out of there. All right, that's, that'll do. Twist them all up. Now we got everything lit. Everything is lit. You can even see down there is kind of lit, but not really. Like, don't work all that good. Yeah, I don't really know what to do with this stuff laying around because I have a monorail to put in here yet and I don't know what to do with that so well it's a it's a small town so don't know where to put my monorail at but I'd like to put it somewhere so that's how you would add your lights to your um, layout just some five dollar dollar general lights and some some wire nuts and a wire from an old charger that you don't use or is broken whatever you could make it blink make it fade on and off yep well, see you later on Trace Hill TV. Yeah. <laughs>